when you're feeling ow, bunged up, food is one of those things that can really help pick you up, which is probably why we had so many requests for this dish. This recipe comes rubber stamped from top nutritionist Jane Clark, who helped us come up with some great reasons why this could work for you. This is our spicy squash satay. Ugh. Now what's great about this dish is it's a one pot cook. A really warming curry. It starts with a base of onion, ginger, garlic and chilli. Then we cook out our veg, including the squash. And it's all bound together with an awesome cashew nut sauté sauce. Ooh. Okay, so we'll start off with the base. So red onion, you're yep. going to peel and dice that. I'm going to take ginger, garlic and chilli and do the same. So we want them all quite fine okay. and then we can start to fry them off in the pan. I don't know what it is, but whenever you're feeling bunged up, you've got a bit of a cold, you're just feeling a bit... <sighs> Something like a warming stew or a soup or a broth or something like that, it just helps it's, instantly. It's comforting, it's like hugging a mug. I think yeah. like, like chicken noodle soup is the absolute epitome of that. Yes. Um, but this version, especially with chilies, and I'm going to leave all of the seeds in, so it's going to have quite a kick. Um, and that does the whole kind of just unblocking your sinuses and just, if you're a bit bunged up, yeah. it just kind of gives you the freedom you need. Are, um, are you going to be alright with that, having a bit of a kick? Yeah, do you know what? If you're feeling down in the dumps, you want a bit of a kick. You probably shouldn't have quite so much chilli if your illness is down to stomach problems, because you can be a bit discomfort with <laughs> no, lots of chilli. That's really not going to help. If, you, if you've got an upset stomach, chilli is not going to do that right. What you probably could replace that with, though, is ginger. Yeah. If you left the chilli out, put a bit more ginger in, because ginger is a really good sort of natural uh, remedy for your digestive system. Very soothing. Yeah. Right, so a shot of oil goes into the pan, and then all of our things we chopped up go in and start to sweat off. The other thing you do need for this recipe is if you are feeling slightly down in the dumps, um, you need your mum to come and cook it for you, <laughs> because that is how it tastes better. When you, when you cook something for yourself and you're feeling a bit meh, it tastes all right, but when your mum cooks it for you, brings it to you in bed... Anything your mum cooks is always top notch. Yeah. Your, your mum. Anything your mum cooks for me is top notch. Sorry. Right, that needs a couple of minutes. In the meantime, we can move on to this. Now, this is a butternut squash. Yep. All we're going to do is top, tail it, peel it, and dice it up into sort of thumb-sized pieces. And the great thing about this dish is it's packed full of so many different veg and stuff. It's a vegetarian dish. Mm -hmm. All those veg have different nutrients. And it's that all-round balance that's going to kind of really boost your immune system if you're feeling down. Yep. And I'm going to take some beans, which we'll need later on, and I'm just going to top and tail all of those. And once your onions have started to soften, they go that kind of slightly translucent colour, they've yep. had three or four minutes, then all of your squash can go in. It is entirely up to you how big you cut them, but as long as they're all the same size, you don't get some that go mushy before others are cooked. This is good. So passive aggressive. No, that's just, <laughs> it's just a statement of fact. It doesn't matter. Now the squash needs a couple of minutes to fry away. In the meantime, we can move on to the satay or satay. Satay, um, satay. Depending on. I don't know how you pronounce. Can someone comment down below? Let us know. Is it satay or satay? Yeah, either S A T A Y or S A T A Y. Satay or satay. Maybe spell it phonetically. <laughs> Either way, traditionally, it's peanuts. Yeah. And a good cheat would be a peanut butter. However, we are going for cashew nut butter. Okay. Um, so it's quite calorific, but that's not a bad thing. No, so we found out, actually, calories aren't a bad thing when you're ill, because your body is using more energy trying to get better. Fight off the illness. And fight off the illness. So, calories are okay, but you should make sure you're having the right kind of calories, like not empty calories like pizza or something like that. Nourishing calories Nourishing. is better, and cashew nuts are full of healthy calories. So cashew nuts, also part of the sauce, that's kind of really rich. So we've got some rice wine vinegar. Okay. We've got some soy, soy okay. sauce, and a little bit um, of rice syrup. Um, you could actually just use any kind of honey or syrup if you like, um, but we found some rice syrup, so we're going to use that. It's really, really cool. Lovely. And finally, um, just shy of a litre of vegetable stock, and as ever, we're going to cheat. Just a vegetable stock cube crumbled into our water. I love that. We go to the extent of finding rice syrup, and then she a stock cube. And then all of the stock goes in, bring it to a simmer, and you want to bubble it away for about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how big you've cut your squash, but basically until it's just cooked, but it's still holding its form. A pinch of black pepper. Yep. You're not gonna add any salt at this stage because we've got the veg stock and the soy in there, so I think it's gonna be quite salty. Got plenty of black pepper, and that's it. Bring it up to a simmer. 20 minutes later, we can move on. And there we go, the squash is cooked down. The stock has kind of reduced a little bit yep. into the sauce with the nuts, and the squash just cooked. 
Now, smell of vision hasn't been invented yet, but, or smell of net, but that smells amazing. It, I think it's the, the spice and the nuts and the creaminess. At this point, yep. all of the beans we top and tailed earlier can go in, okay. and they only need about two or three minutes just to cook through. In that time, we can roughly chop up some fresh coriander, plenty of that, fresh herb is good. We've got some bean sprouts we can go in last minute, and this, I think, is the ultimate cheat. We're gonna serve it with rice noodles, but these ones are actually already cooked. Okay. So literally just going to cling film over, put them in the microwave for three minutes, job done. And just before you serve it up, a generous handful of our amazing bean sprouts. And really, you just want to take the chill off them. You want to warm them through. You don't really want to cook them because you want that crunch. It's worth saying at this point, we've cooked loads of this because you can batch cook it and freeze it down until next time you need it. And actually, most of the nutrients don't go away. And if you are going to reheat it, just a squeeze of lime, last minute, adds in that fresh vitamin C right at the end. But otherwise, awesome. look at this. Oh. Beautiful, creamy. I'm gonna finish it with a sprinkle of some toasted cashew nuts as well, just on top, on those rice noodles we had. Nice bit of freshness. Gorgeous, squeeze of lime. And there we go. If you are feeling a little bit down in the dumps, then this is a proper pick-me-up. It's our spicy squash satay, sorted. Sorted. We didn't discuss who was gonna say sorted, so we both said sorted, but we said it at the gym. Would you like to say it? Yeah, sorted. Well done. Right. Love it. I don't even feel ill, and that is amazing. You don't have to feel ill to eat this. This is no. so good. Sweet, mm. spicy, creamy, crunchy. Fresh is how I'd describe mm. that. It just, it just tastes fresh. Well, I think this is awesome. It's getting get my sweat on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what I'd love to know is, what kind of food do you like to eat when you're not feeling so great? Upload a photo to Sorted Food and share it with everyone else so that everyone can feel amazing. Oh yeah, and get well too. <laughs>